Hello everyone, and I would like to thank the Second Sciences Week for having me here today. I am Miriam Shums, a PhD student at Hassan First University of Stad, Faculty of Science and Techniques, and a part of Laboratory of Applied Chemistry and Environment of Morocco. Today I will present to you a part of my work entitled Photocatalytic Degradation of Dye Using Zinc Oxide and 1% aluminum dubbed zinc oxide, a comparative investigation of nanocatalysts properties and operating conditions. Without forgetting the credit to Mrs. El Hassani, Ms. Jabhero, and my supervisor, Professor Abdullah Anwar. The presentation will follow the suggested plan, an introduction, material and methods, which compose of the synthesis of photocatalysts, photocatalytic degradation experiments, results in discussion with characterization with XRD, SEM, and FTIR analysis. And we will go to the photocatalytic studies with uh, initial pH effects, dye concentration effects, contact time effect, and photocatalyst dosage effect. And finally, we will have a conclusion. Introduction. Nowadays, the water crisis is becoming an increasingly serious issue in ever-expanding global economy and population due to the limited access to clean water resources and excessive demand for it especially dyes unloaded into the nature from various industrial processes such as textile, food, printing, leather, pharmaceutical, etc. Among this pollutant, metal orange is a dye that commonly used and identified as a toxic contaminant due to its hazard to the aquatic ecosystem and human being. Thus, the photocatalytic is one of the advanced oxidation process and it's known to be the most environmentally friendly treatment so far due to the ability to reach a complete mineralization and nearly zero waste several types of catalysts are promising to enhance the photocatalytic degradation of various contaminants like oxides Zinc oxide has gained a spotlight in the scientific community thanks to its semiconductor properties and its wide band gap, as well as its dubbed derivative. Beside aluminum, a bended and low cost non toxic metal, its combination with zinc oxide has succeeded in other applications. So, in this work, we will present the synthesis of zinc oxide and aluminum dubbed zinc oxide nanocatalysts and the investigation of their photocatalytic degradation materials and methods the synthesis of photocatalysis by a simple and low cost precipitation method we start by dissolving zinc nitrate in water as a precursor and preparing the sodium hydroxide and start to add in it drop by drop until the pH of the precursor reach 10. And we will observe a wet precipitate at the end of the reaction. This precipitate will be filtrated and washed several times until the pH reach 7. After that, we will dry in it at 70 degrees for 24 hours and calcinate it at 600 degrees for 4 hours. To achieve the dubbed aluminum zinc oxide, we will add aluminum nitrate with the 1% ratio at the precursor of zinc nitrate and we repeat the same process.
Now we pass to the photocatalytic degradation experiment. The photocatalytic reactor is presented in this scheme with a double glass jacket with a cooling water system to keep the, re the reaction under 25 degrees, under a magnetic stirrer, and a light of source with a UV lamp at lambda max 235 nanometers. The photocatalytic experiment conditions were a stock solution of methyl orange at one gram per liter as a concentration, and we used the spectrophotometry measurements at lambda max 465 nanometers, and we calculate the degradation efficiency with this equation. Now we pass to results and discussion with a characterization and XRD analysis. The XRD pattern of zinc oxide and aluminum dubbed zinc oxide were shown in figure three respectively, with 11 peaks of the spectrum have been detected and correlated to hexagonal crystalline plan of zinc oxide with a good crystalline quality and well-defined and sharp peaks. With the Scherer formula, we could calculate the average crystalline size at 38.76 nanometers and 42.37 nanometers for zinc oxide and aluminum dubbed zinc oxide, respectively. SEM analysis. The morphological properties of the nanomaterial prepared were presented in figure 4. The images exhibit a compact structure with highly uniform spherical particles with an average size of 97.22 nanometers and 55.56 nanometers for aluminum dot zinc oxide and zinc oxide respectively. Now we pass to FTIR analysis. In this figure, we present the, fig the spectra of zinc oxide and aluminum dubstick zinc oxide, respectively. We have a low transmittance band at between 3,431 and 3,416, which related to OH stretching vibration mode, the adsorbent water molecules. And we have a zinc OH bonding was confirmed at between 872 and 889. And finally, we have peaks at 461 and 419, which related to zinc and oxygen bond symmetric and asymmetric vibration. Photocatalytic studies, and we start with the initial pH. pH is a key parameter in the photocatalytic investigation since it regulates the reaction and the formation of hydroxide radical. The initial pH was investigated between 2 and 13 under the condition of 20 mg as the concentration of dye, 1 gram per liter as a catalyst dose, and under 30 minutes in the dark, and 180 minutes under the irradiation of a UV lamp. The photocatalytic degradation reached its maximum at 8 for the zinc oxide with 47.8%, and at 4 of pH for the zinc aluminum dubbed zinc oxide at 98.1%. Now we pass to the dye concentration effect. At the optimized initial pH of 4 and 8 for aluminum dubbed zinc oxide and zinc oxide respectively, and under the same condition as the first experiment and we adjust 
the dye concentration between 10 and 15 milligram per liter. The degradation rate reached its highest at 10 milligram per liter for zinc oxide and 40 milligram per liter for aluminum doxy oxide. And we can observe a decrease and the photocatalytic activity with the augmentation of the dye concentration. Now we pass to the contact time effect. The influence was investigated under the optimum condition of pH 4 and 8 and concentration of metal orange at 10 mg per liter as presented in the figure 8. The degradation efficiency increases pro proportionally with the irradiation time and the degradation reach its maximum after 180 minutes for zinc oxide and after 50 minutes for aluminum doxy oxide. Finally, we will investigate the photocatalyst dosage effect. The impact of the, the dosage was investigated under the optimum condition that we have previously studied. And we can see that the rate increases rapidly as the catalyst dose increase and reach its maximum at 1 gram and 1.5 gram per liter for aluminum doxing oxide and zinc oxide respectively and it slightly decreased afterward. Conclusion. Via simple and low cost precipitation method, we could successively synthesize zinc oxide and its derivative aluminum dot zinc oxide and we characterize it via ver various uh, characterization method and we could investigate the condition uh, the degradation condition and as a result the photocatalytic study uncover a promising potential of aluminum dot zinc oxide to enhance the degradation of metal orange from 72 to 98 percent under the optimized condition I would like to thank you for your attention and I would like to express my appreciation to the Second Science Week for having us here today.